Hey everyone, Gorm from Latifimi here and in this video I want to talk to you about the basics of using our LATS Previewer. The footage I'm using today was kindly provided by the guys at Raw Film. Raw Film is a subscription-based platform offering premium stock footage shot exclusively on RED cameras. If you need footage for your project, make sure you check them out at raw.film. So typically your color grading session will begin once your edit is locked in place and here I am in Premiere Pro I have my edit uh, taken care of and I'll begin by exporting frames from my edit as still images so I can feed them into the previewer to select the one that works best for me in my case. Um, so I'll go ahead and create stills from these uh, from this footage and once I'm done with that, I can go back to Previewer and start working with the stills that I have uh, created. So we'll go ahead and load this image here. And the first thing we want to do is to normalize uh, this footage as this was shot in log format on a red camera and to do that we'll go to log conversion uh, section and then i will go down here to select the appropriate log conversion lot for my footage uh, which in this case is the dragon color red log film to rec 709 lot uh, so i'll go ahead and click it it's applied on my image and if i click and hold I can see the before state and I can easily see the after state um, and we have normalized our footage. Now I think this image could benefit from some exposure. It is a bit too dark to my taste so I'll just go ahead and increase the exposure slightly something uh, around here. Uh, I will uh, also add a little bit of white balance to uh, make it match better the actual sunny conditions under which this was shot uh, and maybe maybe just a little bit decrease uh, the contrast uh, to get a bit more flat image uh, so it's easier to uh, work with. Uh, now that we have uh, basically balanced this image, I'm ready to start working and checking out different uh, creative LUTs and how uh, they will affect my footage. So I know that for this footage I want to work with uh, a kind of teal and orange uh, look. So I'll go ahead and create another layer, then I'll go into teal and orange category and as soon as I do that, I get previews of uh, what these different teal and orange LUTs would look if they were to be applied on top of all my settings and the log conversion LUT that I did. So uh, looking at these, I like this one. I'll click it. Uh, it's looking actually uh, rather good. I will slightly decrease the contrast a little bit more and maybe increase the white balance just a tiny little bit. Uh, something about uh, around uh, here and I like this uh, look so I will go ahead and add it to my selection so I can compare it with other looks that I may find uh, suitable for this footage and to do that I will simply click the add to my selection button and then I will go ahead and go through the other looks to select the one uh, that I like um, I like personally this one. I will hit A on the keyboard. Uh, that's the shortcut for adding a, an image to my selection. And as soon as I do that, it is added to uh, my selection. I will go ahead and have a look at other LUTs. I like this one. We'll add it as, as well. And let's say we want to add this one. Okay, so uh, from here I will go to my selections and I will click on view my selections to see these images side by side. And I think I personally uh, like the best this one and this one. So we will add them to compares and then toggle on the show compare mode. And I can see these images side by side here. 
uh, and I think I prefer this look. So I'll click it to load it full size in the application. And from here, I will simply go ahead and export a LUT. There is no need for me to recreate my steps uh, in Premiere Pro. I'll just export a LUT. Then I go to uh, Premiere Pro, select my clip on the timeline, and in the Creative tab in the Lumetri Color panel, I will simply go ahead and select the LUT that I have created. And there it is. There's the LUT that I have created. It's a nice teal and orange look and it works nice uh, for this clip. Um, now let's go back to the previewer and another nice feature of the previewer is that it allows you to see what this look would, uh, how this look would work with other images or other uh, sequences or other scenes from your sequence. So uh, I'll go and load another image from this sequence and I will select the keep current selections option and I can see how my look which is retained as I selected the keep current selections option how it works with this uh, with this image now if I click the uh, before and after uh, I can see uh, how it affects my image and in this case, I think uh, we don't need that exposure adjustment that we did. So we can decrease that. If you want to reset it, by the way, you can either select uh, uh, the value here and enter it in your key on your keyboard, or you can double click the slider uh, to reset the uh, to reset the slider's value. Um, I think the slight decrease in contrast here is uh is okay so we leave that and as for white balance yeah i think this works nice uh so we can leave that uh as well and what we'll do we'll simply go ahead and export uh, another lot which we can go ahead and use in premiere pro so we'll select our clip and then we'll browse for our newly exported lot it's here click it and it's applied on the footage and we have found uh, really quickly uh, and efficiently uh, a look that works nicely with our footage. Now again let's go back into uh, the previewer and another nice feature of the previewer is that you can use it as a sort of creative playground to create um, different looks or different combinations out of different LUTs that you have in the package. Because if you remember, I told you that the preview column here always shows you uh, what is about to happen if you are to apply a certain LUT. So, uh, so let's see how that works and how this will help us uh, create a new look. Uh, so I will uh, create another layer. Uh, this time I will go into Cine Looks category and here I have this preview of different uh, cine looks LUTs from the cat from the package and how they will affect my image if I apply them. Now let's say I want to go with something a bit washed, something a bit creamy like this LUT here. I think this will be a nice starting point for this new look that I want to uh, create. So I will simply click it. Uh, it is applied and from here I will basically want to dial it a bit back um, maybe somewhere here and we can also dial back the opacity of uh, of the previously selected teal and orange LUT so somewhere around here maybe uh, decrease the white balance so it's a bit more neutral um maybe increase the contrast just a tiny little bit and there you have it we have created a new look which is basically a combination of three LUTs 
plus some settings that we have uh, done and it was rather easy to do that because as I said here under the preview we always get uh, a preview of what is about to happen so it makes it easy for us to select which uh, of any of the LUTs that uh, we could be working with would work with the footage so if I would want let's say to create another layer and throw that one into the mix and this one this time I uh, let's say want to go into a cinematic base grade uh, category I can see that let's say Dectra could work uh, for me uh, in this case however before I apply the Dectra LUT let's see what happens if I decrease the uh, if I decrease the opacity of the Miram LUT I will uh, do it drastically from a hundred to a zero so you can see how that affects the thumbnails as well so uh, basically as I said uh, the, the the previews on the right side will always show you what is about to happen so if i decrease the opacity of this one and then i go to and select my fourth layer uh, and then go let's say into cinematic base grade uh, i now see what will happen if i apply this lot here uh, and that's a really uh, easy and convenient way to create yourself a new look uh, out of combining different uh, LUTs that are available in the package and again using the preview column it's always easy to see what uh, will happen so here's another look that we easily created uh, and it's really a nice feature in the previewer that you can use uh, it as a creative playground to create different looks for your uh, for your footage. Uh, so I really encourage you to go ahead and try just that and see how that would work uh, with your footage. So we can go ahead and export this one as well as a new lot. And we can, of course, go ahead and apply it in uh, the preview in the Premiere Pro or whatever NLE that you are uh, using. Now, there are many other features in the previewer uh, which you can use. Um, I will just quickly mention a few of them. Uh, for example, uh, there is no limit to the number of layers that you can use. So basically, you can go ahead and create as many looks as you want, uh, as many combinations as you uh, like. Just bear in mind that you don't want to, if you are using quite a lot of looks or LUTs, you don't want to use them at very high opacities because if you combine, let's say, three or four LUTs at uh, almost 100% opacity, you will get some uh, not really look nicely looking uh, images. So I would really recommend not to do that. So if you are combining several LUTs, I uh, would suggest you uh, use uh, use lower values of uh, opacities as that will uh, work better for your uh, images and I really encourage you to uh, try and dif different uh, and new looks to see what you are able to get out of your footage. Uh, also another nice feature uh, that is available in the uh, previewer is basically that you can uh, reorganize or reorder these LUTs. Uh, so uh, let's say we'll add another look uh, and let's go again for Cinelux category. Let's select, uh, let's select this one for its uh, magenta look, but let's just slightly decrease the magenta using the tint control uh, and let's further decrease the contrast we won't increase exposure we leave it as it was before uh, so you can reorder these LUTs and these will obviously change uh, the way your image looks because there is a very big difference if you are applying one LUT before the other. So I also encourage you to go ahead and check that feature out to see uh, to see what happens to your uh, footage. And 
Another nice feature and the last one I want to show you in the previewer is basically the import LUTs feature. So uh, you are not, when you're using uh, the LUTs previewer, if you have our professional package, you are not limited to uh, the LUTs that are available from us. You can use the previewer with any of uh, available LUTs that you might have as long as they're in a cube format. So uh, to, to use other LUTs with the LUT previewer, basically uh, you go into the import LUTs option here. We'll click the plus sign and we'll call this, this one, let's say test folder and we'll click on next. We'll browse for our LUTs uh here in my downloads folder in this case i have the teal and orange LUTs from our package um, just for testing purposes again you can use any other any LUTs in cube format so i will select them all and i will click on open it will process and import these LUTs send them to uh, a remote storage and they are ready to be uh, used in the application. We can go ahead, uh, select the folder, access them in, uh, access these LUTs. Let's go ahead and increase the contrast slightly. Okay, something like that. Uh, maybe select this one and we'll increase the white balance so it works better for this here decrease the contrast okay so you can simply go ahead and uh use any other LUTs that you have in the previewer in the very same way and you can also export a LUT uh which uses your custom imported LUTs which are available uh which will be available for you from this point on uh forever and that is until you delete uh the category if you want. Um, you can, by the way, add more LUTs to the category by editing it. So it allows you to add additional LUTs. You can remove specific LUTs from, uh, from the custom folder that you have uh, created, or you can delete the uh, category uh, entirely. But anyway, uh, that is another nice uh, feature that allows you to work with uh, LUTs that you might have from other places and other sources. Uh, so it will really uh, increase your productivity when it comes to color grading. It will really allow you to work uh, faster uh, with whichever, whichever LUTs that you might have from uh, any uh, source. So uh, that's that. These are the very basics. Again, as I said, there are other features, but I don't want to keep the, I don't want to uh, have this video uh, to make it too long. Uh, so I simply invite you to uh, play with it. Uh, we offer a completely free 14 day trial. Uh, so I really encourage you to check it out to see how it can affect your uh, color grading. We have some really nice features coming very soon to uh, the previewer, some additional tools, some additional uh, features. So, uh, that's, so that's about that for this uh, video. I hope you like this one and if you liked it, I uh, invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get a notification when we release a new video. And until next time, see you and bye bye.